In Indonesia, like many democracies around the world, the issue of apathy among first-time voters poses a significant challenge to the democratic process. With a large population of young people who are eligible to vote for the first time, understanding the causes of apathy and taking steps towards fostering active political participation among this demographic group are crucial for the future of Indonesian democracy. Hello everyone, my name is Fona Hashimi, representing Universitas Muhammadiyah Aceh for Pemilihan Masif Sobat 2024. On this fine occasion, I would like to share with you this issue that happened recently by the title of Shedding Lights on Apathy Among First-Time Voters, Causes and Steps Toward Active Political Participation in Indonesia. One of the primary causes of apathy among first-time voters in Indonesia is the lack of education and awareness about the political process. Many young Indonesians grew up without a comprehensive understanding of how the government functioned the roles of different branches of government, and the importance of their participation in the electoral process. This lack of education leaves them feeling disconnected from the politics and unsure of how their vote can make a difference. Additionally, the prevalence of corruption and political scandals in Indonesia has contributed to disillusionment and mistrust toward political institutions and leaders. Many young Indonesians perceive politics as being dominated by elites who are more concerned with serving their own interests rather than the needs of the people. This disillusionment leads to apathy and a reluctance to participate in the electoral process. Social factors also play a significant role in fostering apathy among first-time forces in Indonesia. Peer pressure, family influence, and societal norms can shape individual attitudes towards politics and influence their decision to engage or disengage from the political process. If young Indonesians are surrounded by peers or family members who are apathetic toward politics, they may be less likely to take an active interest in political affairs themselves. To address the issue of apathy among first-time voters in Indonesia, several steps can be taken. Firstly, there needs to be a con concerted effort to improve civics education in school and communities to ensure that young Indonesians have a better understanding of the political process and have their role in shaping the future of their country. Secondly, political institutions and leaders must work to regain the trust of young voters by demonstrating transparency, accountability, and responsiveness to their concern. This may involve implementing reform and combat corruption, increasing transparency in government decision-making process, and actively engaging with young people to understand their needs and priorities. Furthermore, efforts should be made to create opportunities for young Indonesians to participate in Indonesian in the political process and have their voices heard. This can include promoting youth-led initiatives, providing platform for dialogue and debate, and creating youth involvement in politics. In conclusion, addressing apathy among first-time forces in Indonesia is essential for the health of Indonesian democracy. By understanding the root causes of apathy and taking proactive steps to promote political engagement among young Indonesians, we can ensure that they are active participants in the shaping the future of the country. Only through active participation can we build a more inclusive and representative and representative democracy that truly reflects the voices and aspiration for all Indonesians.